And now from the 8 on your side team, surviving repeated heart attacks. About half of patients who have had a heart attack are at risk for having another one. But a device being studied at Lancaster General Health, Penn State Hershey Medical Center, and a number of other hospitals around the country could give those patients a life-saving warning. I'm feeling stronger now and ready to get back to living. Diane Wakely is on her stepper for about a half hour each day. She's feeling better than she has in months. In March, the 66-year-old suffered a heart attack. It was just very, very scary time. Just so unbelievable. She had a procedure to open the blockage and a stent put in. But in the following months, suffered not one, but two more heart attacks. It didn't enter my mind that it would ever happen again. All right, we're ready to test. Because of her history, Dr. Seth Worley implanted a cardiac monitor in Wakely's chest as part of a national research study. Just like with a pacemaker, the cardiologist makes a four centimeter incision and puts the device under the skin near the collarbone. It will track the heart's electrical signal. If there was something wrong with it and the device detected that the patient was having a problem, it would vibrate and the patient would feel that underneath the skin. This is what it looks like. That device would also set off the lights and sounds on a pager that Wakely carries with her. If it beeps, let's see, five times, that's call 911. And if it beeps uh, every seven seconds, that's, you know, you call your doctor. People often ignore or delay acting on the symptoms of a heart attack. And some patients who have had a heart attack are concerned about every little twinge. It's like having their own EKG machine built in. And so they, when they have those funny symptoms, little twinges and twitches, that they, if the device tells them that they're not having anything, then they can relax and get on with their life. Half of the patients in the study will get the implantable device, but not the alarm. Researchers will still be able to retrieve the data from this to see if the patient may have had a heart event, but didn't seek treatment. Have a good day. Diane Wakely spends most weekday mornings taking a young neighbor to the school bus. She's glad to have the device called the Angel Med Guardian along for the trip. Bye, everyone. It does feel like an, an angel living with inside of you. And to be eligible for the study, patients must have had a heart attack and be at risk for another one because of age, diabetes, kidney problems, high blood pressure, or some other factors. If you want to take part in the study, we have contact information online at WGAL.com. More health news.